Well, hello there. Welcome to your new lake house home. Yep, this one is called the Spruce. And for those of you that do not know, I am your new host, Nate. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Enjoy me in this wonderful tour of the Spruce. This is a 1,500 square foot, three bedroom, two bath home, which as you can see has a nice big front porch on it. It's gonna be real brief because the wind is blowing. And Take a quick tour of the outside, then we'll get back to the inside. And I know you guys are gonna like this one. kitchen dining room area. Like I said, not a whole lot to show, but I did want to point out that feature window set right there. That's above your, well, the way they've got it set up, above the bed in the master bedroom. Nice hardy board on the outside. Great big windows. This home is located at the Home Boys in Spokane, Washington. And if you'd like more information on the Spruce, don't forget to uh, check that description down there. Click the link and it'll take you to this home. So we got a really nice big porch here. Not gonna be able to get all the way over in the corner there, but kinda wanna show you a little bit of the porch before we head in. So when we first walk in, you can see we've got this big feature wall in the living room area. Nice tray ceiling. Let's see if I can find the light for it. There we go. Add just a little more light to the room. So we got this big feature entertainment center here. Now let's see, they had one Let's see if I can find the light for that one. I'm not sure where the light is, but you do got recessed lighting. The previous home I did it had a wall similar to this. Had it done in dark wood and lighter backing area there. I'm not sure where the light switch is or I would turn them on for you. But it is a really nice entertainment center. I know a couple of people have commented they don't like when the TV area is recessed because it limits the amount of space you have for your TV. But I can tell you that that is big enough to put an 80 inch TV in there. The living room area. As you can see, is a nice big living room area. Lots of windows. I didn't even have to turn the light on, honestly. It was plenty of light in there. But the lighting kind of adds that warm glow to the, to the home. And as you can see, we have a ton of cabinets in here, in the kitchen area. All the natural stain. Kitchen and dining room are off to the right when you walk in. So when you first walk in your door, you kind of see the kitchen, but it is, like I said, off to the right. So it is somewhat separated, so you're not seeing it as soon as you walk in. Now there is no pantry in this home, but it is 
Might as well call this a pantry. You've got a ton of storage space over here. Like a whole wall of cabinets for storage. All with soft closed doors. Plus you got this really nice island. Now these are the black world, or excuse me, frigid air appliances. So the black kind of really stands out. I would like to have seen what stainless steel appliances would look like in there. But obviously the black really stands out. And really big window above your farmhouse sink. Now that is a large sink and that window is so big that it makes that sink look small. You got more storage space down below. Big drawers. Take a look at this here. I have seen this in some other homes. This is what they call a charging station. So you've got your plug in there with some USB ports. I believe there's another one there. Then you can run your cables up. There's holes in these. And you set all your devices in there and let them charge. Now all your bedrooms in this home are going to be down at the end of the home. You do have a coat closet. And directly behind your coat closet is that back door and your utility room. Now this isn't a large utility room. It is strictly a utility room. Washer and dryer. And furnace. And down this way, you got your bath, <coughs> excuse me, your bathroom with a deep shower tub combo. Lots of drawers in your cabinet there. Nice to see that there's a little extra counter space there instead of just being a sink. You got that gray subway tile there. Great big mirror above your sink there. And then you've got this nice recessed deep linen closet in here. And you got another linen closet over here. So the hallway is kind of nice. It opens up once you get, get past the uh, bathroom there. Bedroom number one. The good size bedroom. It means that this is only a 1500 square foot house. It's nice to see that the way they laid it out. You've got good size bedroom still. Better yet. You've got a good size closet. Plenty of room for your kids to hang all their clothes. Bedroom number two, I believe, is going to be about the same size. Again, it's nice to see that they've got uh, good sized bedrooms in here. Made plenty of use of the available space. And this one's even got a bigger closet. So this would be for the kid that thinks they have to have more clothes than they know what to do with. And then straight down off the end here is going to be your master bedroom. 
Now there's that uh, feature set of windows that we were talking about on the outside. It's got a nice little shelf up there. It's even got some recessed lighting. Let's see if we can turn that on. So as you can see, you got that recessed lighting there. But that'd make a nice shelf to put some collectibles on. We can't, there we go, we can't show you the bathroom just yet. So we do have a really good sized bedroom though. Kind of a longer bedroom. It's about the half width of the home, but it is a little bit longer, so. Gives you lots of space here. Then we've got a good sized closet. Water heater access over here. I would like to have seen some wooden shelves in here. But there again, that's just a simple, simple option to change. I think you can even do that later on your own once you get the home. Shoe rack right there, whatever else you want to use it for. A good sized closet. In the bathroom. I've seen this in another home where they did something similar to this, where they took the same material that they used for the So instead of having a backsplash, your whole wall is covered in that same material. It's kind of something different, something I haven't seen before, or if I have, I just haven't noticed it. But you've got that recessed lighting once again, so no uh, light fixtures, so to say, vanity fixtures up there, but you've even got more storage up above you there. A really nice looking sink area there. Once again, I do like the fact that they are the square sinks. Nice set of drawers right there. A little bit more storage space down below. And I believe in that previous home that had that, uh, that I just filmed not too long ago. So I don't know if it's up on the channel yet or not. If it is, I'll put a link to it down below and put a link to it up in the corner. It had a similar tub set up to this, except it was all darker, darker cabinets instead of these lighter cabinets. Even had, I believe the bathroom was laid out kind of the same. But uh, even had a real similar shower. Now, once again, I would option out the tile or option in the tile shower if I could instead of this one piece fiberglass shower. Of course, this one does give you two seating areas. Don't know why I need two seating areas, but. And if you need to take a seat, go ahead and take a seat so you can type a comment down below and let me know what you think of the home. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the home. While you're there, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload videos. Currently uploading three times a week, every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And with that, jokes aside, I will see you in the next one. Have a good night. Bye.